Hello, everyone! Unfortunately, drivers do not yet travel through the air in flying cars, and pedestrians are not yet able to teleport from point A to point B. We all use roads, which is why they need to be constantly upgraded. Fortunately, people keep coming up with cool inventions. Let's take a look together at the most interesting road technologies that exist today. Let's get it on. There are no pedestrians within a 600-mile radius, but you still have to slow down before a speed bump. Annoying, right? Clearly, safety is above all else, but those regular stops in the long run mean wear and tear on the brakes, increased fuel consumption, and harm to the ecology. Isn't there a better option? Here it is, a smart speed bump made in Mexico. Its radars analyze the speed of the car, and if it is within the speed limit, the road is kept level. Going too fast? You're in for a surprise! Pedestrians, by the way, are additionally protected. At the push of a button, they can activate the speed bump to cross the road, and if the system is installed near schools, the barrier will always be raised during the hours when children are going in and out of school. Pedestrians on this road could use a smart speed bump, but they have something better. A crosswalk fence. Unfortunately, this is just an isolated project in France to draw attention to the problem of driving culture, but it would be great to introduce it in places where smart systems have failed. Imagine the following challenge. If you stand in front of this net, you'll get a lot of money. Would you risk it or would you run away? You should have believed in its power. We agree that it looks pretty flimsy, but several tests have already proven its effectiveness. The system called Dragnet was created in New York and is already widely used at railroad crossings, on reversible lanes, and, above all, on runaway truck ramps. As you can see, even when it's carrying cargo, it won't be able to pass. Moreover, dragnet is suitable for roads of any width and damage to the vehicle is minimal. He looks at you and says, Psst, kid, I've cleared a lane for you. The traffic tech company is building these automated barrier systems. As the name suggests, they are used to control traffic on highways, roads, bridges, and tunnels. Has there been an accident and you urgently need a detour lane or a reversible lane to avoid a traffic jam? Installing a plastic barrier can take a couple of hours, but with this system, all it takes is the push of a button. And there's no need for the operator to be nearby, as the system is controlled remotely. This development is also useful for instantly blocking traffic as well, as is this automatic barrier. Overall, traffic control is now easier than in a mobile game. No, this is not footage from the making of a new Tron movie, nor is it a technology from the distant future. We may very well see something like this on the roads very soon, thanks to the efforts of the Umbrellium team and the insurance company Direct Line. In essence, they have created the world's first responsive crosswalk. What does this mean? Cameras capture images of the road at 25 frames per second. The system analyzes the data and displays warnings on the roadway with LED lights to all road users in real time. With a millisecond delay, is a cyclist at risk of hitting a pedestrian? The system warns them immediately and gives them a clear signal to slow down. The surface can withstand all weather conditions and a load of up to two tons. Do you think it'll be of any use? What do you do when you discover your clothes had a hole? Sew it up or put a patch on it. And what do road services do when there's a pothole in the road? They spend six months changing half a mile stretch. 
Does that make sense? The guys from the company AdForce asked themselves the same question and came up with a product for instant road repair. It's enough to remove dirt and moisture, pour the prepared mixture, cover the pothole with a protective film, and let the cars press the patch with their wheels. That's all. No need to block the road for several months, and what's more important, no need to spend incredible sums of money on repairs. Imagine an ambulance going at full speed to attend an emergency and slowing down at every red light or running a red light, risking an accident. Is there a way to improve this situation? Ford is already testing a technology to solve this problem. It is both simple and ingenious. When the ambulance driver sees a red light, he presses the button on the remote control, which changes the light to green. The development will also be useful for firefighters and police, as long as it does not fall into the wrong hands. Otherwise, the roads will be total chaos. We are in India, on the Jammu Srinagar Highway, which runs through the mountains. The blind curves and steep cliffs with hardly any barriers make it one of the most dangerous roads in the world. Drivers here often don't have time to avoid a collision. Luckily, this device comes to the rescue. Special radars are installed on both sides of the most dangerous curves. The system analyzes the speed of the approaching car and, if there is another car in the opposite direction, warns both drivers with light and sound signals to slow down. But we have a question. Who dares to speed on a road with this kind of protection? Another LED technology, in this case, to help drivers stay on the road to the club. But jokes aside, these lights are installed for safety. In the dark and in bad weather, they allow the driver to easily see the curvature of the road, the edges of the road, and the lane. The lights are charged by solar power during the day and improve visibility from 300 to 3,000 feet at night. Calculations have shown that this gives the driver up to 30 seconds more time to make a decision, and certainly lifts the mood if driving to the right music. On the screen, you can see another reason to recycle waste and dispose of plastic in the right way. Not only are these panels installed much faster than asphalt, but they are also environmentally friendly. More than 2.5 tons of recycled material are used to create each one. According to the creators, the use of their product will reduce carbon dioxide emissions by up to 72%, and the modules can be used not only for roads, but also for walkways, bike paths, and playgrounds. A 10 square feet panel weighs about 90 pounds and can store excess water during rainfall and gradually release it into the ground. But it would be great to see what the plastic road will look like after a month of loaded trucks driving over it. Although in the project's home country, the Netherlands, they are very excited about its development, they've already worked out how communications, including cables and water pipes, will be routed within the plastic roads. In addition, the coating is supposed to be resistant to temperature fluctuations from negative 40 to plus 200 degrees Fahrenheit, but has not yet been used outside of bicycle lanes. They may still have to work on the durability of the material. Another option is to use recyclable plastic to create these geocells and create a dirt road, just like in the old days. It may sound like a joke, but it is possible. According to the manufacturers of the material called GeoWeb, unpaved roads with this geocell require 50% less filler and can withstand a tank or an airplane driving over them without any problems, so it could be a better alternative to traditional paving.
Are you one of those people who would love to bike to work but don't feel safe on the road? Then this solution is just for you. This simple but effective design will force drivers and pedestrians to keep their distance from the bike lane, while giving cyclists a psychological sense of comfort and safety. Also, unlike other fences, this type of design is more aesthetically pleasing. At least, it is much nicer than metal barriers. Unfortunately, at the moment, it is only a prototype. Let's hope that soon this invention will appear on the streets of your city. In South Korea, engineers have invented a, um, roller massager for cars? We're kind of right. This invention is called Road Roller System and consists of three-foot-high steel tubes and rollers coated with glossy reflective paint. The plastic pieces, similar to Lego heads, rotate freely on their axis and save the driver in the event of a collision with the barrier. The system works as follows. The crashed car loses inertia due to the movement of the rollers. But the main thing is that they force the vehicle to change direction and return sideways to the lane. You can see it clearly here. In addition, the road roller system causes less damage to the vehicle than a conventional metal or concrete barrier and virtually eliminates the possibility of the car rolling over or falling into a ditch. The system is already being tested on dangerous stretches of road in Europe and Malaysia. But it is unclear how it will be maintained, as the rollers and tubes need to be replaced after each collision. Watch an interesting movie in a few minutes without rewind? Easy! We got a great looking audience tonight. The Sweet Popcorn Channel has a mega convenient format waiting just for you. Short retellings of movies from auteur films to Hollywood blockbusters. Pick up your unlimited ticket by clicking the subscribe button.